Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can improve your FPS and get better performance in the finals season 4. I hope this guide helps you out so make sure to stick around till the end and with all that said, let's get started with the intro. Alright, step number one is the best window settings and for that head over to settings on your PC and once you're over here, head down to gaming, go over to game bar and turn this thing off. Game bar consumes a lot of CPU resources in the background as well as memory consumption and disabling that will help you to free up a headroom for your games to perform better. Go back to gaming, head over to game mode and turn this thing on. This will optimize your PC by turning things off in the background allowing you to gain extra performance. Right beneath that, you'll find graphic settings, click on that and then head over to change default graphic settings. Enable both hardware accelerated GPU scheduling as well as optimizations for windowed games to ensure that your GPU is being utilized to render the game as well as reducing the input and render latency. Head back to graphics and then click on browse and then go to the install location of your game. Once you find the folder, head over to the game and then select discovery.exe, click on add. Then head over to options and then select high performance, then click on save. Go to browse button once again and this time head over to discovery binaries win64 and then select discovery.exe again click on add head over to options and then select high performance and then click on save once you're done with that close your settings step number two is the local group policy editor and this will only be available for windows pro users so if you have windows home edition you guys can skip this step simply look up for local group policy editor then select edit local group policy. Once you are here, head over to administrative templates, windows components, app privacy, and then you'll find let windows apps run in the background. Double click on this and then select enable to enable this policy and then set the policy to force deny. This will deny all of the applications running in the background, helping you to save extra resources for your games. Next step is creating a restore point. And for that, simply search for create a restore point on your PC. And once you're over here, select your local disk C. Click on create and name it finals so you can remember it. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step because it is really essential if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any data loss. Once you're done with that, click on close, close system properties. Next step is downloading the finals season 4 FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. Once you're over here, you'll find in six simple folders. Let's start with the first one that is CPU priority. In here, if you have an AMD CPU, you have to double click and run the AMD CPU priority and if you have an intel cpu you can double click and run the intel cpu priority this will help you to set the correct sfio priority for your processor allowing it to perform better and consume more power second is the finals priority and this is to set your game priority to the maximum level allowing your game to draw more resources from your cpu as well as your gpu to improve the rendering speed and reduce the latency once again i recommend you guys to leave your pc specs down in the comments below and i'll be telling you guys which one to choose from between high and above normal you can simply double click to run any of which helps you to gain extra fps third is ram optimization and once again i have 32 gb ram on my pc so i need to double click and run the 32 gb ram registry it could be different for you so you guys can pick according to your pc next is programs in which i have left clean temporary files batch you have to right click and run this as administrator once it opens up it asks you a simple command like this you have to press any key and this will start deleting all unwanted temporary files from your pc these are dump files created by the application that you have run in the past and you don't need these files now it's completely safe so you can proceed with that next is msi mode utility 3.0 right click and run this as administrator once this application opens in front of you you have to search for your graphic card over here and then check the msi button in front of it and for the interrupt priority set this thing from undefined to high and once that is done you guys can click on apply next is unwanted services in which i have left a ton of services to disable on your pc once again if you use any bluetooth devices do not disable the bluetooth services but other than that that you can disable every single one of them this will disable all unnecessary services like core parking that is disabling of your cores when they are not in use this will make sure that your cpu cores are running on full throttle and disable maps unnecessary services printer services transparency xbox service and like those unwanted services that you don't want to be running in the background once you're done with that if you'd like to revert any of them back to normal you can use this folder to revert all of them back to normal last is the input lag fix in which i have left key keyboard latency fix once again i would like you all to leave your pc specs down in the comments below and i'll be telling you guys which one to choose from in this list head back to the mouse latency registry and over here you'll find disable pointer precision globally once again if you use your laptop trackpad 
and if you are not using a physical mouse do not disable pointer precision because this will make your mouse slow pointer precision is nothing but pointer acceleration that means the slightest bit of your pointer movement will result in large movements on your screen next is fixed mouse delay i recommend all of you guys to do this one this will help you to fix the sensitivity and coordinates of your mouse allowing it to perform much better once you're done with the fps pack you can simply close it and now let's move to the next step that is fixing all of your internet issues using no ping no ping is a free to use tool that acts as a vpn that helps you to connect your pc to the game servers without any hindrance you can download this from the link in the description below once you open up this application it should look like this and over here you'll find a list of over 300 games to choose from you can simply look up for the finals in here and click on select the server over here you have to pick the nearest region to you guys once again you can scroll through the list and find the ones which have the lowest latency once again dubai 01 has 33 milliseconds of ping which is the absolute lowest for me so i have to click on optimize this game and this will start one click optimizing the game right away the best part about no ping is the settings gear over here which offers you turbo games and this will help you to improve your keyboard response time and a dedicated fps boost section wherein if you enable all of these options you guys can gain extra fps through the application right away. I highly recommend you guys to go and check out no ping from the link in the description below. It's completely worth it and I use it for myself as well. Next step is defragging and optimize disk drives and this is very helpful to optimize your disk space and reduce your input latency. For that, simply search for defragment and optimize drives and once you're over here, select your local disk C and look for the media type. If this is a solid state drive, you have to click on optimize and this will start trimming the SSD. This will help you to remove all unnecessarily occupied partitions which are between two occupied partitions and this will help you to free up space on your ssd once again if this is a hard disk drive you have to click on analyze and let it done and let it do the job and then click on optimize and this will start fragmenting the hard disk drive once you're done with that click on change settings and make sure to run it daily so this process is happening every single day next step is deanimating windows and though this step does not put a lot of fps benefit this will certainly help you to improve the performance of your system for that simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows and once you're over here click on adjust for best performance then select save taskbar thumbnail previews show thumbnails instead of icons show window contents while dragging and smooth edges of screen fonts these four things are the basic animations that you require on your windows and other than that this will disable all unnecessary animations which are consuming your cpu resources once that is done click on apply and that should be it now drop into your game and follow the best in game settings all right so once you're in your game press your escape key and then head over to settings over here go to video settings and then make sure that you're always on full screen resolution should be on native monitor resolution vsync should be disabled nvidia reflex low latency should be set to on plus boost frame rate limit should be set to unlimited resolution scaling method should be set to nvidia dlss and quality if you have an amd gpu you can set it to amd fsr and set this thing to quality and if you have intel graphic card you can set it to intel zest and set this thing to quality field of view should be the maximum motion blur and lens distortion should be set to disabled nvidia rtx global elimination should be set to static overall quality i have preferred low but over here i prefer you guys to set the view distance to epic and then the textures to high idle energy saving should be set to disabled and inactive window energy saving should also be set to disabled once you're done with that press on escape again and then go back to your main menu and drop into your game and let me know if this helps you or not i hope this guide helps you out if it does make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button we're really close to 200 subscribers and we also have channel membership out so if you guys are not a channel member yet consider getting it as it really supports me we'll see you guys in another amazing video and stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out